everybody, and this is going to be a very philosophical and thought-provoking video. I, it's really not gonna be. <laughs> I'm one of those people who I walk around my apartment and I think about things and then I start talking to myself and then I'm like, you know what? I want to put this in a video and this is one of those videos. So I've just been thinking about gun diversity in Destiny in the Crucible because as of right now, I would say that the Crucible is in one of the worst states that it's been in for a while. The last time that it was this bad was with Suros Regime, where literally you would just hear ding, 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 all the time in the Crucible. It's all you would hear. But I would say that right now, the issue with Thorn is probably a lot worse than Suros Regime because everyone has access to getting Thorn. It's from an exotic bounty, and if you turn in enough bounties, you will get the exotic bounty, and then you can get Thorn. Whereas with Suros, you have to either purchase it from Xur, or you have to get it as a random drop. So it definitely seems like Thorn is a lot more prevalent than Suros was before. And there's recently been a statistic that was released that over 50% of the kills in Trials of Osiris are from a thorn. And any time that a gun is being used that much, it's kind of a good indicator that there's something wrong with that gun. Now jumping into what I'm actually talking about in this video after that intro is just how we could get weapon diversity. Because Destiny is a new kind of FPS game. It's an MMO sort of, but not really mixed with an FPS game. It's like an RPG. It's, it's a bunch of different things put into one. And with that comes issues. We have exotic weapons in Destiny and these weapons are meant to be special. They're meant to be better than legendary weapons and when it comes to balancing that is a real issue Exotic weapons are supposed to have perks on them that regular weapons just don't have That's the whole point of an exotic weapon and I definitely wouldn't want to remove them from PvP altogether Because it's really exciting to get a new exotic weapon and it's really exciting to be able to use it for the first time in the crucible Maybe it sucks, but you still love it because it's new so I definitely do not want to just purely remove them and balancing these weapons can be very difficult. I think it's going to be very, very hard to have your standard Crucible Quartermaster gun be as good as the last word. It's something that is very, very difficult to balance. So I started thinking about other ways that we could have weapon diversity. Of course, in a perfect world, the game would be perfectly balanced, every gun would be just as good as the next gun, and it would be awesome. But I don't know how realistic that is with a game like Destiny. So this is my personal idea or ideas for encouraging weapon diversity in Destiny. So as of right now we have one primary weapon crucible bounty that is to get more experience. It's the hand cannon one. Get 15 kills with a hand cannon. Which, by the way, I don't know who was this bright person who was like, you know what? Let's put a bounty for the most used gun in the game to make people use it more. I don't know. Maybe it was because people do use the hand cannon a lot and it was like, let's give them a bounty that they can just do and be happy with. They're probably just trying to make people happy and not have people moan at them, which I totally get. <laughs> but I think that we should have them for other weapons weapons too. Because when I see the fusion rifle bounty for example, or the headshots with the sniper rifle bounty, I see a lot more people using those weapons, especially the fusion rifle, because in general, not many people use fusion rifles. They just don't. They're not in the greatest place in the world right now. And when I see that that bounty is available, I see at least two or three each game. So that shows that bounties are actually deciding what weapons people are using in the crucible. So my first little idea that is a very, very simple one and very, very easy to put into the game is just to add a bounty for kills with an auto rifle, kills with a pulse rifle, kills with a scholar rifle, a scholar rifle? A scout rifle. The scholar is a scout rifle, but they are not called scholar rifles. And by doing this, you're just encouraging people to use something different. Sure, there's gonna be people that don't care about bounties and they're just gonna use whatever they wanna use, whatever they feel is the strongest, but there are also gonna be people out there who are leveling new armor or new weapons, or they wanna get that next rank in their future war cult, a dead orbit, and they're going to want to do that. They're gonna want to complete complete that bounty. So it's just going to encourage a little more a little more people, not everyone, but a few more people to use auto rifles 
pulse rifles, and scout rifles. Another idea that I had that is a lot more complicated to implement from a game design standpoint, but it would be like specific days that give you a lot more XP and a lot more reputation gain when using a specific weapon. So for example, if you had auto rifle day, if you went into the crucible using an auto rifle and either you won or lost, you would get a significant amount more of XP and bonus faction points when you are using the auto rifle. So instead of getting 30 faction XP, you'd get maybe 50. Maybe that's a little too much, but you guys know what I'm saying. If you're using an auto rifle, you're gonna be gaining more XP towards leveling up your stuffs, and you're gonna be gaining more rep to level up Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, Crucible, whatever. Now this would obviously make it to where a lot of people are using auto rifles, and maybe that's kind of boring, but I would personally much prefer to just run into a bunch of auto rifles on one day and then the next day I'm running into a bunch of scout rifles and the next day pulse rifles and the next day hand cannons and the next day fusion rifles. I would prefer to run into different stuff even if it's not all in one day than just literally going against three weapons the entire time. So I definitely think that it's worth Bungie thinking about ways to encourage players to use different weapons because like I said, coming to a perfect conclusion of weapon balance is going to be very difficult. It is very difficult in any game. They constantly have to make changes like League of Legends, for example, or Call of Duty or whatever. There's constant changes happening. But in Destiny, I think it's going to be even harder due to exotic weapons. So I think coming up with things to just encourage players to try different weapons, to use different things, would be really, really awesome. And those are just my two little ideas. The first one, very, very easy to implement, wouldn't fix it by any means, but would definitely encourage some people to use different weapons. And then my other one, <laughs> which sounds a little weird when I actually say it and maybe wouldn't actually work at all. <laughs> but just having auto rifle day, scout rifle day or whatever would maybe encourage people to uh, to actually use those weapons. You could even have legendary primary day where you get more rep and more experience when you have a legendary primary equipped. So that's just my ideas. If you guys have any whatsoever, I would love to hear them in the comment section. Remember, we're not talking weapon balance. We're talking about ways to encourage players to switch up what they use. Okay guys, that is pretty much it. I love you all and I'll speak to you awesome people later. Bye.